the general UI concept. This video is about the general UI concept. The Bifa Artists interface is made of several layouts. We have one for general 3D work, one for scripting, one for UV editing and so on. Think of them as rooms for specific jobs. There are two ways to switch between the layouts. You can use this drop-down box here. Click at the left, then select the layout that you want to switch to. This drop-down box contains all layouts. The faster way is this button row up here. But this button row just contains the most used layouts. Back to the default layout. Every layout is made of several editor types. We will cover the details in a later video. This for example is the viewport. Here happens the work at your 3D data. This is the outliner. It's a list of the objects in the scene. This is the properties editor. It contains the properties for the scene and the objects and so on. The size of the editors is not fixed. You can pull them around. Just click at the separation line and drag around. And some editors have hidden areas. Above is the so-called info editor. The hidden area of it is of interest for scripting. It is currently blocked by the toolbar. Let's pull the toolbar down. And here you have the area that is of interest for scripting. The hidden toolbar area is, uh, contains nothing interesting. But at the bottom we have the timeline and that's of interest for animation. Let's have a closer look at the 3D viewport. You will notice these two toolbars left and right. These ones are part of the 3D view editor. Usually the left toolbar we contain tools and the right will contain settings. These toolbars can be hidden. You can drag them away. To re reveal, click at the little plus sign here. You can also do this by menu, toolshelf and properties, or by the hotkeys T and Shift T. Down left in the tool shelf we have the last operator panel. This is an important piece since it displays tools settings and you will use it regularly. This special panel does just exists in the 3D view and the movie clip editor and the motion tracking layout. To show what I mean, when you create for example a primitive, then you get the settings to adjust this primitive here. Other editor types does also have these toolbars. Let's for example switch to UV editing. The image editor has one left and one right. What's left is the menu bars. Every single editor has a menu bar. It contains menus and further settings and tools. That for the general UI concept.